Uh, hi, my name is Anne Gladys Kishori, the founder of Amazing Girl Mentorship Network. And we are here on Women's View talking about the A to Z of the amazing woman. And yes, woman, you are amazing. Maybe you're wondering me, amazing, how? Yes, you, you are amazing. And I want to walk you through that journey and show you how amazing you are. So today we're going to be looking at B, which is for beautiful. You are beautiful. You are very, very beautiful. Okay, now I can guess what you're thinking. Eh, how am I beautiful? My hair, my what? Everything is not going well. No, you're beautiful. You're beautiful because God says so. In Genesis 1.31, the Bible says, God saw everything he had made and behold, it was very, very good. If that's not enough, we go back to the book of Psalms where it says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes, you are. You can take your Bible and underline that verse and memorize it and keep saying it over and over again to yourself. But maybe you're asking yourself, how am I beautiful? And yet I don't feel beautiful. I don't even physically look beautiful in my own eyes. No, that's that's not true. You're beautiful simply because God says so. And even if your feelings tell you something different, that's not the case. Because sometimes you don't feel beautiful because maybe your boyfriend cheated on you or your husband or someone told you to dress a certain way because they think you look better that way and then they still went out with someone else who dresses a different way or does their hair, their hair a different way yet you had done your hair the way they had wanted you to do it and they still went so your feelings at that point in time are telling you you're not beautiful because someone else made a decision to do something else um, against you that hurt your feelings but they are not the standard for your beauty they are not simply because someone chose differently and hurt you that does not mean that you're not beautiful you're still very beautiful that is a fact and that cannot be done away with the other thing is maybe you're thinking um i don't feel beautiful because i don't have the right clothes i don't have i don't know maybe makeup or money to go to the salon and all those things no beauty first starts in your head in your heart where you believe what God says about you. He says you're beautiful. He has made you fearfully and wonderfully. And everything that he made, he saw that it was very good. And that includes you. The best you can do after knowing that is just to take care of yourself. You know, freshen up here and there. Buy stuff that fits you. Look for stuff. Um, we're living in Kenya. And we know where we can get stuff for 100 bob or 200 bob or even 50 bob, depending on where you live. Just go get stuff and just feel a little bit nice about yourself. Don't be afraid to treat yourself every once in a while. It's okay to do that. I know that many times when you don't feel beautiful, it's because someone has made you feel so unworthy and so bad. You don't even feel like putting a little effort on yourself to feel anything even a little better than your feelings. But you deserve it. You deserve that good feeling. You deserve that um, feeling of pampering yourself. Because as a woman, you're made to be beautiful. Don't let anybody put you down. Even if it means you have to work a little extra hard to get a little uh, more money to get what you want, just do it and then treat yourself and know that you deserve it. You deserve to feel good about yourself. You deserve to look good and it doesn't have to be expensive. But it will all start if you know it in your heart that already God sees you so nicely. And because God says that your body is his temple, then you should take care of it nicely. So take it as a command from God. Now that he gave you a good body, take good care of it. Really, really simple. Just that. I know I'm saying that uh, it's simple, but it's, it's, it's simple. The truth there is very, very simple, but it's very, very hard to do. And sometimes it will mean that you have to take a step at a time. Even if it is one very, very slow step, you have to take it, but take it anyway. Even if you make progress of just one centimeter a day, that is still fine. The most important thing is to know it in your heart, believe it, regardless of what other people may have done or said to you, that does not change the fact. It does not change the fact that you're beautiful and you're beloved by God. You are so, so loved and he loves you no matter what. You are just beautiful. So one of the things I'd like to encourage you to do is to look at this book, Becoming an Amazing Girl. And once you go through this book, you'll be able to see my own story of feeling so ugly. I didn't even want to see a mirror. I just felt so, so, so ugly. I didn't think I was beautiful or anything good. But somehow God helped me through that journey. And I got to learn that I am enough for him. I'm important to him. I'm enough. He made me nicely. And that's all that matters. And I didn't have to do so 
cool many things to try and please the world or prove anything to anyone so that I could feel beautiful again. It was simply a fact. It took time to believe it, a very, very long time, years actually. But eventually when I did, now I am satisfied with who I am, you know? And you can be too. It's very, very possible. So woman, you're beautiful. Believe it because you're amazing and yes, you are beautiful. <music>